Hello, this is David Wormsey, and in this video, I wanted to look at an efficiency plugin called Admin Page Spider Pro by Jay Ovins Hennig over at j7digital.com. Now, this video really is a direct follow on from my last three videos where I was looking at and testing the Beaver Thema, new plugin by the Beaver Builder team, which is just presently out in its alpha release for testing. So, if you don't know about this, then you probably want to check out the links below this video. But what I do know is is that this plugin is going to have a significant impact on how I work in the future. It's going to be included in my blueprint install, which is my installer WordPress where I configure all the plugins I'm likely to use in a future project. And I duplicate that one to save time for each project. And I know a number of you do exactly the same thing. So which really has led me on to looking at admin page by the pro. Well, now I've had it actually, I bought this some time back, but I haven't been using it much, mainly because I work with somebody else and I didn't want to confuse them. But it's really while well, I've been working with Beaver Thema recently, I realized that as wonderful as this plugin is, it is a bit of a chore to get to the back end and get to your theme layouts with it. And this is where this plugin really helps. I was talking to Jay over the weekend. He was fixing a bug on it and he's added some new things which makes it easier to work with this. Uh, if you're someone who already has this or knows of this, maybe this will be helpful. And if you don't, I'm just going to quickly cover at the beginning here how I'm using it and why it's uh, valuable to me. I don't want to go into too much detail and bore you with it. I also should mention that there's no money in this. He doesn't have an affiliate scheme. I'm just doing this because I think it's useful. There is a little bit of another reason why I'm doing this and promoting it, if you like, is that he did say to me that with all of his plugins, he doesn't get that much in the way of bug reports. He doesn't doesn't get much feedback on what people might like from it. So he's really open, really useful guy. I mean, just helped me out so much and spent so much time with me looking for the bug that I really would like to see, you know, a plugin like this um, get more attention. Uh, but maybe it's not for you. But let me just show you. So the main thing is here, what it does for anybody who doesn't know about it is that it adds in all of these extra quick links to your toolbar here. So it just prevents you having to go into your dashboard and go and click out from here. So the key thing for me is this one, the, the templates. What he's done is that it will take your regular Beaver Builder templates and allow you to either click directly into the page builder itself on any page, or you can just view it by going to the little magnifying glass. And that's the same on all of these things. You can either just view them or you can go into the back end or into the template view. But what he's added is the ability to do that with also our theme layouts, which go with the Beaver Thema, as well as your ordinary templates. Now, of course, this is one of the, the big debates when he adds something new in here. Does he give it another tab separate for the Thema to the ordinary templates? And he's gone with put them in the one, which I think is sensible because it's very easy. There's a lot of options with this plugin. And, you, and if you've got other plugins, they could be taking up the space here. So he's gone with this all in one. And what I've done here, because they all run in alphabetical order, I've named my theme layouts as theme dash, whatever their name, and my templates as, and the same with rows, and it could be the same with modules. They're gonna fall in order. And with his plugin over here, with all of these, he's added a search here. So if I wanted just my themes to show, I could just TH and I would get rid of the rest. And you can see how this would be useful when you've got a very a long list of things, particularly when it comes to maybe um, posts, search is something that would be very useful there. So that's pretty much uh, the layout of this plugin and why it's useful for me. What I'm gonna do is just show you his page for anybody who doesn't know anything about this. So I'm going to go over to j7digital.com, over to his plugins download page. And Jay is one of these people who's been passionate about Beaver Builder and really helpful in the community. And he's been building these plugins, which he's been giving away for free. And there's a ton of them here. I featured some of these in earlier videos. One that's particularly popular is the header footer templates plugin which allows you to replace your header and footer, in fact, and a lot more and do overlays now with the Beaver Builder theme and using saved templates. He also adds the admin paid spider free version, which is also on the repository. I think it got featured in WP Mayer's blog as well as one of the handy tools uh, that is 
often not known about. But really my interest lies with this one, the actual page by the pro version, because that links up with Beaver Builder itself. So let's just go and take a look at the, the page. Most of it's explained here. And probably what, let me just go over the things that are covered so I don't miss any. So obviously it works with Beaver Builder and allows you to go into your templates, WordPress posts, WooCommerce. It works with Microthema, which is a CSS editor. Uh, I've just checked that out because I do have a copy of that and it works uh, fine with that. It gives you links to go directly into editing your CSS with that. CSS Hero support, another popular one. It's uh, also easy digital downloads. And uh, I should mention it, Elementor, which is another page builder, which I don't use because I'm a big Beaver Builder fan, but it's there if you like that as well. And Yellow Pencil as well, which I've also presently got installed, which is another CSS editor. So those where you can get links for and they're customizable. Here's the pricing. So it's dirt cheap here. You can just get a one site license for, I think it's US dollars here of 299. And if you want to renew the following year, you get 40% off that. If you just want something and get all your updates forever, and you're only gonna use it on one site, or maybe it's just your blueprint site that you're gonna use it on, you can get away with this and you'll, you'll get it for life. So that's really cheap. Uh, I've personally gone for the unlimited licenses because I, I think it's gonna be a value anyway for client work after I want it on all of the sites so I can leave it there installed so I can use it myself or even if I turn it off for clients I might want to turn it back on for me if I did some work so that's the the license I've gone for but I mean it's really cheap just to get it I mean if you're really are tight for money you could just go and buy this one and not update I'm sure it will keep working for a, a long time into the future if not forever Okay, let me go back and just show you the back end on my install. So uh, yeah, I've gone there already. So when you've got it installed, you've got this, this set of options over here. So you can change the name of your displays. You can decide what you're showing. That's on pages. This one's on posts, so display. So we're seeing those with our pages there and also our posts here. Pretty obvious stuff. With the Beaver Builder here, we can change the name. I've left it as Page Builder, as you can see it here. What it does, and it, there's the template menu. I think by default it says Beaver Templates. I've just saved it for templates, just to save a little bit of space on here, as I've got a lot of things running at the moment. And I've turned off the default editing button because if we go over here we'll see that we've got page builder that's something like what you'd normally see without the drop downs but this is the one in jay's plugin so i would end up with two page builders on there and if i go and click the top it works just like the default one so i could hide the beaver builder one itself and have the ability to go to different pages like this okay let me go now css hero i've not got that activated easy digital downloads that's not activated but it, it kind of works the same as my woocommerce one which i have so as you can see over here i've set woocommerce up there i've only got four products on here but i could have however many many products are liked and of course i can go and type in here and find the product that i need um, so that's going to be the same with easy digital downloads and I can rename that as well. Elementor is over here and I've got yellow pencil on at the moment. So if we look over here now, I can turn off one of this. I don't really need this one with the yellow pencil. Um, I could just go with this so I can turn that off and what that does. And it's the same with all of the CSS editors. If you want to go into customizing this page here, you just need to go and click in here and it's going to activate um, the yellow pencil so I can start doing my CSS editing. So I think I've rushed over that or I've probably gabbled on quite a lot, but uh, hopefully I've covered this. Hopefully it's going to be of use to people. And if you like this video, then give me a like. If you didn't, then just leave me a comment and just say where I'm getting it wrong. And if you want me to cover something in the future, then also leave me a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Thanks very much. I'll say goodbye. Bye-bye.